Hey folks, Mark and Bob from Fire Mountain Outdoors. Got a black box. There's something inside. Stick around if you want to see what it is. But if you saw the title of the video, you probably already know. Cheaters. This is the new thin down single stack 9mm. The one that all of us have been asking for for quite some time. It's very compact. But with being compact, you know, what kind of, uh, what are we going to lose in that? Standard capacity, it's going to be 6 plus 1 on this model. You know why we're at it, Bob? Why don't we uh, compare it to another standby, the MMP Shield, the no safety model. I think that that's a, that they beg a comparison between the two. They do. So let's do a shootout. We've got a brand new Glock 43. Compare it with the Smith & Wesson, the m p 9 Shield No Safety model. Let's give uh, first impressions. So we've got the Glock 43 and we've got the Smith & Wesson Shield. Both of these are single stack 9mm. Both very concealable, uh, approximately about the same size. So if we just stuck them on their backs right there, the shield is considerably taller without a magazine in it. Um, and this particular magazine that we have for the shield has a little spacer in it and it gets a little bit exaggerated When we put the magazines in now this one just has a finger rest extension It came with another magazine that doesn't have the finger rest. Let's uh, let's put that in and compare Now the length of the grip is important when you have a concealed firearm because that's That's a lot of times. That's what flags yeah, when you have uh, this extended grip in there, it does. But I think that, you know, once you have, like, the flush fit magazine, you're only looking at maybe just a little over a quarter of an inch. It would fit flush. So if we just took this out and compared the, uh, the grips by themselves, and let's say you carried the, the pinky extension magazine and then had the flush fit magazine, you would see that it's, they're really, really close there. As far as width... You know the Glock has a has a, a blocky square slide on it. So does the M&P Shield. The Shield seems to be slightly more rounded, but the more you look at it, it seems that way. But it's not really. And the width seems to be really, really similar and close. Yeah, I would say that the uh, the Glock is just a hair narrower than the Shield as far as the uh, slide goes. Mm -hmm. But the actual grip. Uh, I think that the grip on the uh, the shield is a little bit more comfortable than it is on the Glock. And for the for the Glock, the Crew Custom Holsters uh, made this for the Glock 43. Uh, it fits just right, just like all the Crew stuff does. Those come in at fifty dollars for that particular model, and so uh, then we'll give that a try. And then Comfort Holsters has one uh, on its way, also. So we'll have another holster to uh, compare and contrast. Excellent. Bob coming at you, we've got the Glock 43. First shot's fired. Let's see what the Glocks are famous for and let's see if they shoot every time and hit what they aim at. You see, without the pinky extension, uh, I barely have two fingers on the grip here. And uh, Range Dog says, shoot more, shoot more. And so now we've got the Smith & Wesson Shield. This is one that you probably already own or you know that somebody that owns one. They're out there, they're prevalent. And you can usually pick these up for right around $400. Uh, I'm gonna try first shots through the shield and uh, see what I think on this. Frankly, I enjoyed shooting this one more than I did the Glock. Well, Bob, we had first shots fired with the 43. Uh, I'm impressed with the compactness of it. 
Yeah, it is a very nice compact weapon, you know, for a, uh, a backup gun situation or uh, somebody who's wanting something that's not going to print. I think that this would make a really good choice. Uh, it is a Glock. It's got that kind of blocky feel. For me, you know, I can get two fingers on it quite comfortably. With the extension, I can get all three. Um, the shield, I really like the shield. It, it fit my hands better and it shot better for me. Um, if I was going to take either one of these firearms for the same money after shooting them, uh, I'd have to say I'd take the shield. I think it'd be really tough between the two of them. It's going to come down to personal preference and what you like the feel uh, of better. I, I think that's definitely it. Uh, I know there's a uh, there's a ton of people that really like the, the feel of the Glocks and, and I own some Glocks and I think that that's, that's a great option for uh, for concealed carry and having a piece, you know, it's only got six plus one. Um, I'm not sure, you know, the single stack grip is kind of skinny on that, and and that's great for carry. It's not so comfortable to shoot, but guess what? Hopefully, hopefully, we don't have to shoot our concealed weapons very often. Have to, right? Uh, of course, we want to train with them when we want to be comfortable with that, but. Uh, that's definitely comfortable enough to, sh to shoot in a stressful situation. Well, you, uh, you brought that up too, and that, that's something that I've, I've often felt with different carry weapons when uh, sometimes you buy them and there's so much recoil that they're not pleasant to shoot. Mm -hmm. The Glock 43, I'd have no problem shooting hundreds of rounds through that through a day and still be comfortable. Well, that's true. That's true. And so you can train with it and practice with it. and. Uh, and be proficient with it. So you're just gonna have to reload a lot in your magazines. Exactly. Well, just think all the money you'd save in ammo. <laughs> That's true. Six, six. So they don't make that 33 six. round extension. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's. Uh, I think it's a fine firearm. Um, you know, I kind of find this like I do some kind some Japanese motorcycles. They're uh, appliance like and have no soul uh, but but d incredibly reliable but it doesn't do anything to stir my spirit and I have I have that issue with Glocks they're stone cold reliable and and they work and they there's something like a refrigerator but they don't do anything for me they have zero sex appeal that, uh, zero personality they don't they don't speak to me they don't talk to me i have they they inspire no passion with me right uh, you know uh, if, uh, if it was a motorcycle and it was a triumph or a harley that i was fighting the oil leaks with or the, the clutch would stick every now and again but i love it i guess that's kind of relates to my take on firearms but conversely if if I would have a commuter that I got to rely on to get to work every single day, the Glock's going to be your first choice. The Glock or the boring Honda motorcycle, and so that Glock, uh, just because of the reputation and this the way they make them, they work, and so that makes that a very, very valid choice for uh, summer weight, deep cover. I need a small handgun that I can easily conceal, uh, and I and I do think that fills a valid niche. Um, this fills that similar niche and this one's more comfortable and fun to shoot for me um, but that one I think that one is more concealable just because of its shorter grip um, I think I think they're both great options they are if you have an M&P shield and you're looking to upgrade to a Glock you might be disappointed I don't think that there is an upgrade there I think that they're really kind of on the same par. I think so too. I think that's a very valid point. I don't think that if I owned this already, I don't think I would gain enough anything to make that a worthy change. No, you're going to lose capacity. Uh, you're going to lose a little bit of grip. And but either way, I mean, they're just they're both great firearms. They both function very well, and they both hit where you know you're going to be close to hitting. Right. But yep. uh, at 21 feet, they did pretty good today. I think so. So there was first shots fired with the Glock 43 and the M&P No Safety Shield. I uh, hope this was entertaining, enlightening, insightful, informative, All or at least stuff. something. <laughs> so as always, you can't take back a bullet and you never want to wish that you could. So follow the four basic safety rules. Stay safe, shoot straight, catch you on the firing line. Thanks for watching.
For more information on the Crew Custom Holsters, make sure and check out their website, www.thecrewcustomholsters.com. You can find a link down below in the description. Currently, their shadow model for the Glock 43 is on sale for 10% off for a limited time. If you're interested in one, check them out.